This is a 200 watt power station with a 240 watt hour battery. Nice white box. Looks like an Apple product or a DJI product at first glance. C Techie portable power station. Here we go. Solar panel. You can do up to no more than 24 volts. They recommend 18 volts at 3 amps, which is close to 60 watts, about a 60 watt panel. Yeah, let's open it. <laughs> okay, looks like a briefcase. It's a nice, small, compact, portable little unit. The outside is, feels like metal. Not super certain, but it's got a nice feel to it. And here's all of the accessories. The instruction manual, okay. We've got AC power to charge it, a DC charger option. We've got an option to be able to power DC devices and a USB to USB-C plug. And I would add that this cable is nice and thick and feels pretty rugged. And most importantly, this is the solar panel connection. So you've got the MC4 connectors that plug right into your panel, most solar panels anyways, and here's the connection that goes right into the power station itself. So good stuff. It shows five bars, 12 volts. Oh, and we've got a nice light. That's, that's pretty bright actually. Turns on and off real easy. I can show you here, here's the front of the interface. So if this turns on or off the AC port of the unit, but automatically the 12 volt and the USB are on, ready to go. So we've got USB eight um, with the quick charge options, three of them. And we've got USB type C up to 60 Watts, one of those. Then on this side, this is the input to be able to charge it. And these are three outlet output sources for 12 volts where you can charge. I like the design. I like the design. I like the little flash of orange with the metal surface and a nice carrying handle. It is rather heavy. It weighs 3.6 kilograms. So I think if you take that times 2.2, it's, it's about 10 pounds, nine or 10 pounds. So, but it is a unit. You can see, you can see in the back, it's got its own fan here. Um, yeah, it feels good. It's got a, it's got a full battery. Yep, 100% battery, ready to go. Yeah, I like the design. It's thin and nimble and can power up some good devices. So let's go ahead and turn the AC on. One test that I always like to do is test if it can run a Milwaukee battery for charging because I use, I use these batteries quite a lot. I've got a, a two amp hour battery with three bars of power. So we'll plug in the charger 
and there it's red so it's charging and in my experience so it looks like we're not seeing any wattage display of in or out but in my experience the the rapid charger of from milwaukee takes about 137 watts to charge which is under the 200 watt limit that this power station can do okay i've got apple's original cable themselves for charging the computer so I'll plug it in charging so we've got the the computer itself is charging and we're charging the Milwaukee battery and see that's about 137 watts and the, see the USB-C is rated up to 60 watts which is a, a, what I believe the MacBook Air is taking and see we just got the green light flashing which means that the battery is about 80% full and it's um, it's just topping off the last portion of the battery so this running both of these setups at the same time is about 200 watts of power and this thing is running it just fine I did hear the fan kick on it's very quiet It's pretty quiet. So we'll, we'll just let that run for a little bit. See what happens. Make sure it all works. Okay. Lastly, I wanted to test out this DC fridge that I have. This is from Bouge RV. Um, which they sent me this product as well. You can check out my review that I posted for it. I love this fridge. It's It's been fantastic. So I'll just plug in the twelve volt is plugged into the fridge and here's the DC. This is where this connection comes in handy because we can just plug that into any of these three ports and then plug these two together and all of a sudden now we've got power to our DC fridge and the compressor just kicked on so if I open it up the lights on and it's gonna start getting cold inside and this is a large fridge which has been really nice for campouts and if I turn around this way, I can show you the display. It's currently 72 degrees inside the fridge, and I have the temperature set for 36 degrees. And it's on max mode. I can also turn it on to eco. Eco mode takes about 45 watts. Max mode takes about 60. So now that we've used some power from the portable power station, let's see about charging it up. I've got a even though they recommend a 60 watt solar panel, I only have a 100 watt flexible solar panel available right now. And we've got some good sun outside. Not super strong, but we'll give it a shot and see how this thing does charging. And my bad, it looks like there's five bars available and there's three left right now currently. We've got the power station here and the cord that it came with, which is super nice. Um, and here's my 100 watt solar panel and this is actually a flexible one really thin so it makes it kind of nice and lightweight okay so now I'll just hook up the connectors to the panel and plug it into the unit into the input and immediately we've got two, two bars flashing saying that it's charging. So what I like to do is lift up the panel a little bit to kind of help angle it towards the sun a little bit more and shade the power station so it's not 
in the direct sunlight and it helps perfect, protect it a little bit more because they don't like heat. One disadvantage to a power station that it doesn't show you the battery percentage because if it's just four or five bars, you have to guess if it's 80%, 60%, but you'll never know within 20% of how much battery power you have. But overall, it looks like it's charging well and it's working out good. So currently on Amazon, you can buy this power station for $186.99 and you can add a $40 coupon. So that's uh, about $150 plus tax. So for a 200 watt, or 200 watt power station with a 240 watt hour battery, that's also offering lithium ion phosphate. I think that's a pretty good price point for this pri this product. There's there's not a whole lot you can ask from it, but for the specs that it does provide and that lower price point with the, with a pretty good battery, I think it, it's a pretty good deal for what you're getting. Plus, it's a pretty fancy, snazzy, cool little design. They also have a 320 watt hour version and it's listed for 289, which is far too expensive in my opinion for only um, 80 watt hours more and the same the same product. Um, however, they're offering a hundred dollar off coupon with that unit. 146 divided by 240 watt hours is 61 cents per watt hour, which is good price versus 289, so 189 divided by 320 watt hours is 59 cents per watt hour. So actually the 320 watt hour is a slightly better deal by about two cents per watt hour, but they're pretty much the same price. Now I thought it would be, it would be wise to show you comparison for a, for a similar product this is the Blue Eddy AC30, um, which I also have a review on. You can go check in my channel. Um, versus the SeaTech E portable power station. So the Blue Eddy AC30, they retailed it for $300, but I was able to get a good deal on it. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can still find a good coupon for it, like $100 off. So I got it for $200 plus tax and it's a 300 watt power station. So 100 watts more than the than this one, but, and it's also uh, like a 200 and, I think it's like, it's, it's close to or just under 300 watt hours for the Blue Eddy AC30. And this is uh, 240 watt hours. So pretty similar in battery size, although this one offers 100 watts more it also offers a wireless phone charger right on the top, so you can charge your phone wirelessly. It's got the DC port built in. It's got the screen. It doesn't show you the, the watts in or out like this one, nor a percentage for the battery. And they're both, they're both about the same, yeah, the same weight. But to give you comparison side by side, the SeaTechy definitely is much more portable, much more slim, much smaller than the Blue Eddy AC30. Um, and it's not much longer either, if put it right next to it. In fact, no, it, in fact, the Blue Eddy AC30 is longer. So side by side there, there's a good comparison. It really, it really just depends on what you want, what are your needs. Either one is gonna get you where you need to go. Um, the SeaTechy does quote 2,000 cycles for the lithium ion phosphate battery, whereas the Blue Eddy AC30 offers 3,500 cycles. That's what they're both rated for. But if you treat them well, they're just they're going to last for a very very long time. This isn't an in-depth review. This is simply to be able to show you what the power station is, what it looks like, how it fits in my hands, how I can move it around, how I can use it, um, what does it power, 
how does it work? This is a quick review to be able to see what are the capabilities of this unit and if it perks your interest enough to purchase it or even do further research on it. You can find it on Amazon, like I said. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good deal. You can look down below in the video and you can see a link. I do have to say that C-Tech e sent me this power station in exchange for this review video. They are sponsoring this video. Like I say in all my videos, I'm, I try my best not to be biased towards any company or product and to truly show you, the consumer, how the, how the product truly is. So I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching and have a good one.